Deshaun Watson's over under is 3,300 and a half yards. We're going to break down whether we like the over under for his 2024 season win total. And we're also going to take a look at Formula One UFC props for this weekend. Welcome to Props of Parlay today. I am Andy. Kind of taking a few days off here just because there's really not much going on. We've got a terrible golf tournament that I truly could not find <laughs> any props that I really liked. Um, so you guys know I always say uh, don't force it. Best way to make money is to not lose it. So we have not had any official client plays the last couple days, uh, and it's worked out well for us. So let's take a look at Deshaun Watson here. Um, this is a pretty clear cut and dry under for me on the 3,300 and a half yards. Uh, this is a guy that played six games last year, then played six games in 2022. I know the reasons are a little bit different, but this guy's coming off a really serious shoulder injury, and this is a Browns team that likes to run the ball a ton. I'm not sure he's going to be 100% at the beginning of the year. My guess is he's going to be quite rusty. Uh, only playing 12 games total since 2020 is not a good sign. And let's take a look at the average here per per uh, completion here. 8.3, 8.2, 7.8, 8.9 in Houston. And this just tr plummets here. 6.5 and 6.5. And the other thing, you look at these six games that he's played, six games in 2022, only throwing for 1,102. That's not going to extrapolate to over 3,300 and a half yards. Six games in 1,115, that's not even going to get you to 3,300 uh, uh, 3, yards. So even if he had played every single game and kept these numbers up, the 6.5 and these pass attempts, his production's not even getting there to 3,300. So um, I, 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 if he misses any games, I think this is a really, really easy under. And if he comes out to start the year and is really, really slow, then I think you're looking at an uh, even better chance um, to get under. My one concern would be that this is a Browns team that loves to run the ball and they love to run it with Nick Chubb, and I don't, I, I don't think Nick Chubb is going to be – well, I don't think he's going to be right ever again. Um, but what's his status for the season? I don't expect to see him very much, and I don't think they're going to have that bell cow running back. Maybe they bring in somebody else, or maybe they lean on some of their guys um, you know, that they already have on the roster. But it doesn't strike me as a real heavy, like, oh, we're really going to run. Same token, maybe Deshaun runs a little bit. But all signs point to this being a uh, an under. So that's going to be the, the official play here. Deshaun Watson under 3,300 and a half yards passing for the season. So uh, today is $5 uh, customer appreciation day, guys. So I've got a UFC best bet that is up uh, we have really picked our spots well this year. We haven't had any official plays for the last three days, and we are up 83 units in 2024. We were up 91 units last year, and we were happy with that. But this year, we should be able to get past that. Um, maybe next week, maybe the week after, if we keep on this run. So uh, go grab that. It's only $5 to get a uh, UFC best bet. That's a 3% play there. Um I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I have. I didn't do that. We did the uh, recap on the other YouTube channel, uh, but this is last week's numbers here. July fifteenth through twentieth, we went ten and six for plus nine point four units. That's a twenty six point nine percent ROI. So um, you guys can see we had a really good Open Championships. MMA went one and one. Blah. Uh, motor racing Formula One was really really good. We're going to talk about some Formula One. Uh, plays here in a bit and uh yeah you can see here 362 243 for 83 units um for the year so really really happy with that so we've got a five dollar ufd customer appreciation play that is up right now and we also have our five percent uh play of the week if you have not gotten that guys lock it in we hit it again last week i sounded like the guy from Die Hard. hit it again hit it again bring in the car uh, cross sport parlays plays of the week come to nine and two shout out if you got that uh, that reference uh, so yeah nine and two in the last 11 weeks on our official play of the week and really what we've been doing is just kind of building our week around our favorite cross sport parlay of the week and kind of making the plays go uh, uh, just around there and it's just been really really well uh, this UFC play could not be more excited about this one. Uh, they let us know on Sunday that we we're going to be doing a cross board or a, uh, a customer appreciation $5 play. And I was like, 
I know what play I'm using on that one. So that's UFC play. Grab that. Andy Lang, wagertalk.com. We're looking to add to the 83 units for this this year. So, all right, let's go take a look at, let's do some props here for the, um, for the UFC, UFC 304 here. We can look here. Um, Jim and I, I've already done the uh, breakdown video on the other YouTube channel. We will do it again after weigh-ins in case there's any issues. I know they've moved some of the fights around in the order. So we'll wait until after weigh-ins, see if there's any any more issues, and then we'll uh, put the preview video for all the official fights. Um, the Sean Bannon and Alice Ardeline, good Lord. Alice Ardeline is basically an adult entertainer on her OnlyFans and her uh, Instagram. Uh I can't do anything with this fight. I would I would lean to the over, but there's too many unknowns. Shauna Bannon's terrible. Alice Ardeline's coming. She's got she got this fight because she's an influencer. She's got over half a million followers on Instagram, and her only fans is um, <clears throat> explicit. Um, Parkin and Bresky, I would lean over two and a half. My worry is Bresky's complete lack of cardio. Um, he. I, he's going to gas in the second round. Um, I would lean the over because Mick Parkin is 3-0 in the UFC. All three of his wins have been uh, have been by decision. So maybe you might look at Mick Parkin by decision. He's minus 290. That, um, but I, I, I lean the overs because I think Parkin wears him down. And we haven't seen Parkin finish him uh, finish anybody in the UFC yet. So Patterson and Crosby, this under 1.5 is minus 200. So that's way too juicy. I would lean Patterson inside the distance, maybe. Um, Kiefer Crosby's pretty terrible. Um, you're not taking the plus three and a half. Um, Patterson's the play. Can't really get there on any props. Makayev and Kopp, if you think Makayev is going to win, uh, then this over two and a half at minus 210 is a gift. Makayev does no damage on the ground, like none. Um, Makayev is a young guy. He's He's undefeated, yet he's been losing some of these fights until he gets the random finish. Now, those are against guys that I don't think are as good as cop. On the feet, it's cop all day. If it stays on the feet and they say they make a rule like no grappling, no wrestling, cop probably wins by knockout. My guess is Makayev gets this on the ground um, and kind of wears down cop, and it ends up kind of being a boring decision. So I might lean over there. Oban Elliott and Preston Parsons. No opinion on props here. I think Preston Parsons wins. I think minus 142 is a pretty good one. Um, Pekoskis and Procne, I'll lean the over again on that one. Hadley and Lochran, you're definitely taking overs in this one. Jake Hadley and Colin Lochran, neither of them have been finished in their pro or amateur career. Out of all their losses, they've all been by decision. Not one of these guys has been fission, has been finished. Hadley's not going to finish Lochran. Lochran's got a granite head. His head's massive, and it's made of... I'm, I'm convinced it's made of stone. Um, Hadley, this is do or die, um, but I, I, Hadley's probably going to try and wrestle. I don't think he can win a striking match, but uh, I think both guys are tough enough to go the distance. So. McCann in Brazil, I've talked about this one. Under 2.5 at plus money is crazy to me. Molly McCann's last five fights have ended in the first round. She's going to push forward. I don't. I think Brazil, the moment's going to be too big. McCann has been submitted with arm bars. She, sub, she won by an arm bar last time. Regardless, I think Molly McCann runs across the ring, pushes the pressure, and this is a this ends up being another finish um, in a Molly McCann fight. Plus, money's crazy when you have Molly who is finishing these fights in the first round. Uh, Nathaniel Wooden, Pineda. I would lean fight does not go the distance. Uh, Daniel Pineda, pretty. Listen, the guy got busted for being on at flat out steroids. Um, now he's 38 years old. He's been through a lot. I don't trust him to have much cardio. Can Nathaniel Wood finish him in the second or third round? Probably. And that's probably a good play. Wood in the second or Wood in the third. Because Pineda is going to be able to wrestle for a few minutes and then his cardio is just completely gone. I listened to an interview with him and he openly talked about how like just had a kid four months ago and how he's been kind of taking some time off and it, it, it didn't sound great from Pineda. So Wood in two or three might be interesting. Alan Giga probably overs. Um, I do think Giga plus money's sneaky little value. Duncan Rodriguez kind of like the over one and a half here, but these guys strike pretty hard. 
I think Duncan is faster than Rodriguez. I think Duncan's going to be able to stay out of the power shot of Rodriguez. So, and Rodriguez is pretty tough. Uh, I know he got chin checked against Bruno Ferrero. That seems to be a little bit of a, a little bit of an outlier, but over one and a half might be good. Green and Pimblet, no opinion, but probably taking overs. Aspinall and Blades, I, I, you're getting no discount on Aspinall. Like he's minus three eighty, and then Aspinall like by finish is like minus two ninety five. Makes sense. I don't have any props in this one. And Edwards and uh, Muhammad over. Whoever you like to win this fight, just take him by decision. I just I don't see a world in which Bilal Muhammad finishes Leon Edwards. Um, we go back and look at uh, Bilal. We look at some. We look at his fights here, and it's like, okay, Gilbert Burns. That goes decision. Brady. It was a really nice win, but. Leon Edwards isn't going to stand there and take all those punches <laughs> like Brady did. And then you just go back, decision, decision, decision. This was just the eye poke, decision, decision. So you, you look in Bala Muhammad fights, they just go the distance. He's going to throw a little bit more volume than Leon Edwards, I think, but I think Edwards' strikes are going to be a little bit more, a little bit more effective and maybe do a little bit more damage. But again, decision, decision. That was going to decision to get Usman until he lands the head kick, boom, dead. Nate Diaz, decision, 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 decision. So whoever you think is going to win, don't take him on the money line. Just take him to win by decision. So uh, that's the UFC props there. And then if you guys could do me a favor real quick while you're watching, just hit the like button. Leave me a little comment in the comment section. Tell us how your week's going. Um, let's see. Blue is the key, the keyword. Just put the word blue. If you don't have a great comment, just type the word blue. It helps the algorithm out. Uh, so like button and the word blue in the comment section. Um, so parlay pieces. Formula One starts tomorrow. The weather looked to be a little bit shady. Um, so keep an eye on that. Um, but... Oh, DraftKings pulled some other things. You're still looking at uh, Mercedes, double top 10. I would look at McLaren, double top six. Um, Sergio Perez seems out to lunch. Ferrari can't get their act together. Uh, it feels like a pretty clear, like Verstappen, Norris, Piastri, kind of top three-ish with maybe a Mercedes sneaking in there. So I would look at those. Uh, but yeah, curious here. Curious here that DraftKings has uh, has pulled the props, so I'm not even going to um, pull them up here. So, um, Yeah, so that's the big thing, guys, is uh, the $5 play. Go ahead and grab that over at wagertalk.com. Got some props there for uh, for UFC at 304. And uh, like we said, looking here at DraftKings, and just don't see anything. So that's kind of strange. But we don't need very much to do some damage uh, here. So grab that $5 play. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Have a great Thursday, and we'll see everyone tomorrow on Props and Parlays today.